Welcome back to my channel and today for you I'm going to do a refrigerator cleaning organization and kind of like a mini tour all wrapped up in one video. For the cleaning I'm going to show you a DIY solution that I use to clean my fridge and to keep my fridge refrigerator and freezer nice and fresh um, throughout the weeks, throughout the months, throughout the years to keep it lasting long and smelling good. I have an older refrigerator so this is very essential to keep it nice and fresh and clean and tidy. The next thing I'm going to do is an organization. I use Dollar Tree items to organize my fridge to have some sense of order because I do a lot of meals in my home. So I need to know where my onions are and my garlic and my vegetables and my fruit and all of, all of those good things. And then the last thing um, kind of in between and throughout the process, I'm going to kind of give you a tour inside my fridge to show you all the goodness and yumminess that I have inside my fridge and what I keep in my fridge. Typically, it may not be the same that what you put in your fridge but for me it works the best so yeah let's go ahead and get started all right so here's the inside of my fridge and what the first thing we're going to do is pull everything out of the refrigerator or freezer you can start one or the other first and you're going to need baking soda and vinegar to kind of clean and keep your fridge fresh and smelling amazing so yeah let's go ahead I usually start at the top shelf and work my way down on both ends of the spectrum and then I kind of go down the second shelf the third shelf the fourth shelf and so forth so let's go ahead and start pulling out the first shelf and go from there as you can see everything's cleared out once everything's cleared out you're gonna spray it down with vinegar and water and I do about 50% vinegar and 50% water and then I kind of wipe it down with a uh, damp sponge. If there's any cake down residue or anything like that or any stains, that's when I sprinkle on the baking soda to kind of wipe it and scrub it down on the refrigerator. So as you can see, I'm spraying down the refrigerator and the freezer. I'm starting with the top shelf and working my way down, including the shelves. Once that is done, I and then there's no caked on stains, I go ahead and take a dirty dishcloth, or just not really dirty, just an old dishcloth, and I kind of dry it up a little bit before I put the food back. I also kind of clean the bottoms of the jars, so if there was any residue or anything on the bottom, then I make sure I tidy those up before placing them back. So yeah, let's go ahead and dry this all up and then start putting the food back. So I wanted to show you this. This is a Dollar Tree bin that I've gotten from the Dollar Tree. They're like the dishwasher tubs. And I place in the top part of my freezer all of my bread. So anything that the kids like, like for example, pancakes that I get from Trader Joe's, the gluten-free waffles that I can eat, and the bread, I place in there. And this is what I put in my freezer because I have these fit perfect, these little cubes or these dish tubs inside my freezer. You can label them with um, labelings or you can put like um, a black sharpie to it. So that's what I do with that and that's a Dollar Tree item. So a nice quick way to pull out that bin, get what you need and just pull it back in there. And that's all of my breakfast and breads that I put up in that top shelf. So another item I wanted to show you were these Dollar Tree mason jars. I love these for food storage because they're clear, you can see them, they keep the fruit fresh, and I love them. My kids love them, my husband loves them. They love seeing things. I'm trying to transition all my Tupperware, so my plastic items, into glassware, and the Dollar Tree has different sizes of mason jars, so I'm very blessed that they have those. So check out your Dollar Tree. Another jar that I picked up at the Dollar Tree are these jars with the white lids that have the screw on caps. I love these for not only storing um, dry items, I also store a lot of my cold items. So in here I have my red onions. Again, they're diced, I can put them in there, they stay fresh, and I can see what I have so I, it's perfect for meal making and all that jazz. I did want to mention another thing that is great and very inexpensive is reusing glass jars that you've purchased items in. So for example, this was an old mayo jar for mayonnaise and I cleaned it out and I use it now to store my freshly cut lemons. So that's another inexpensive way. Clear, it's glass, you could store it with the screw on lid um, in the refrigerator. Alright, my top shelf is clean. I'm going to work my way down to the second shelf. 
All right, so I cleaned the second shelf, and I didn't give you all the gory details because you've seen it on the first shelf. It was pretty much the same, but I wanted to show you the Dollar Tree items. The Dollar Tree has these little clear storage containers with these little white lids. I love these, once again, for leftovers and for food storage. They also have these little containers. They're, I think they're meant for offices or whatnot, but I like to store. Right now I have applesauce and I have one loose egg because it wouldn't fit in this carton. But it also can put the Trader Joe's yogurt and some of the skinnier yogurts in there. And then they also have this red bin that I kind of like because I pull out and I store all my onions in there. So my red onions, my green onions, and my white onions. And you can label that as well. And again, this is another Dollar Tree container, um, mason jar. And this one has a chalkboard labeling at the Dollar Tree. So you can write, um, these are my oil pulling tablets. And... Yeah, and then on my second shelf in my freezer, there's not much. We have these bananas here and then my ice. So I'm going to go ahead and work down the third shelf. My third and fourth shelf kind of go with my third shelf. Well, my third and fourth freezer shelf match with my third shelf in my refrigerator. All right, so again on my third shelf, I do have these red pull-out bins. Again, I'm storing my citrus in this one. And then I also like to store things that I don't want pierced, my vegetables and fruit that I don't want Pierce, so like my soft one. This changes and varies. Like right now I have tomatoes and peppers in there, but I've stored peaches and nectarines and things like that that I don't want to get super duper icky and yucky. So that is what's on my third shelf and all that jazz. And then also on my third shelf is, you really can't tell, but I did put a label on this just to kind of see you and kind of give you the difference. It says frozen sides, and basically I have all my sides. This one didn't fit in there too well, so it has to kind of go there, the french fries. But it's like sides that are frozen, so it can be like tater tots and fries and pasta that's frozen, prepackaged, things like that. So that's what's in that bin. All right, guys, so my bottom shelf, right before I hit the drawers, is the same two red bins. I have one with all my potatoes that are overflowing. We get so many potatoes here in Michigan, but we'll start eating those up. And then over here, I kind of store some papaya, some cauliflower, and a thing of red tomatoes in the back. And again, my condiments are all there. And then in my freezer, kind of shoved in there is all my meats. It, it's like mass chaos in there, but there's some sense of order. There's, you know, chicken and pork and all that. And I kind of go through that and clean it up usually every two days because I kind of want to know what I have as far as meats. But I wanted to show you, and these two shelves in my freezer, I have these bags filled with um, scraps. So basically anything for a vegetable broth. And the details for the vegetable broth, how to do it in the crack pot, is over on my blog, which is www.myholeoutoflove.com. But basically there's onion and garlic scraps, celery and carrot scraps, leeks, um, parsley, and things like that. And on the very bottom shelf of my freezer, I freeze a lot of my herbs that I don't use because I use that to kind of sprinkle on dishes or to mix in dishes or I even use it to make my broth. So that's what's over there. There's a whole bunch left over from Thanksgiving, so I'll use that up here. And obviously I have two. I usually only have one giant bag of vegetables scraps, but apparently I have two and a half. That's what this little one is. So I got to use that up with my soup coming up real soon. So yeah, so these little white bins from the Dollar Tree are awesome, and these little red pull-out bins are fabulous. All right, so another thing I use in my refrigerator, these little containers, they come in a set of three from the Dollar Tree, and this one has all my loose garlic. I do store it in this little garlic container, but I sometimes I get them in two or three bulbs, so I went ahead and put the leftover bulbs in there. So that is something that you can use, these little bins, they fit great inside of your refrigerator. And then at the bottom, I just wanted to show you, this is my vegetable row. I have my fruit row above, no, my fruit row down here with the little frozen ice cream kind of setting outside. But I have my vegetables here. That's what I wanted to say. My vegetables, even fruit too. When I cut fruit and vegetables up and I realized that we're not going to eat it up in a week or a few days before it goes bad, I usually dice it up and put it in freezer bags. So right now I'm cutting up a bunch of peppers for my daughter for dinner. 
And I store these peppers in the freezer because I can use these for a fajita crock pot or I can use them for my Italian sausages in the crock pot or I can use them in a stir fry or things of that nature. So remember, you know, kind of think ahead when you're meal planning. If you think you're not going to be able to use up the fresh ingredients, but you want to preserve them and you want to save them without wasting them, stick them in a freezer bag and stick them in your fridge or your freezer. You're going to save so much money by doing that. All right, so here is a quick, brief overview of a clean fridge using Dollar Tree items. I use vinegar and water to clean it. I used a lot of, like I said, Dollar Tree bins and things and mason jars and whatnot and how I organize my fridge. Now, for the baking soda, you take the baking soda, I didn't have any caked on stains, but you take the baking soda and you mix it with some water and kind of make like a paste and then you kind of scrub it into the stain. White is one of those tricky, tricky things that you need to constantly use that. So here is the paste I told you about. I mixed it with equal parts water and baking soda. I actually need a little bit more baking soda because the mixture is just a little too watery. There we go. That should be about, about right. And I take a little wisp and I kind of wisp it together. And then I kind of massage this on the stain. Like I said, I didn't have too many stains inside the refrigerator, but I do have some on the outside. So we're going to use this, see if it works. So think like Ajax. You're basically massaging it on and sprinkling on and washing. And I'm doing this on my handles because those get a little cruddy um, from opening and closing the door. So the final step is I like to put a little baking soda in a jar and then I like to store this in my refrigerator to keep my fridge nice and smelling good and looking and smelling fresh. Not only looking good, but smelling fresh. So yeah, I put a little sprinkle of that in a mason jar and then I kind of put it in the fridge in kind of an off area. So I'm going to move some things around. Let's see. I'm going to put it just right over here on the door. And this will be a good spot for it. Kind of nudge back there. And yeah, so that is my fridge refrigerator tour slash organization slash cleaning. Okay, so there you have it in a nutshell, my cleaning solution and how I deep clean my refrigerator and freezer. Also, my Dollar Tree organizational finds that I found and a mini tour of my refrigerator. If you want to see more videos like this on DIY cleaning or Dollar Tree organization or even just a tour or something, let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, remember to hit subscribe. Until next time, see you later. Music